Hello, this is John Sims with the Avaya Serviceability Engineering Team. In this video I'll cover how to use Avaya Aura System Manager's File Download Manager to update both the B5800 Admin Lite and B5800 Firmware Libraries. Before I get started, first a few notables about all of this process. System Manager's Download Manager helps you download software releases from either Avaya PLDS or SFAP. Starting in release 6.2, B1500 branch gateways are now supported by System Manager, whose software is available only in Avaya PLDS. The B1500 admin light will be downloaded and kept in the local System Manager repository. And by contrast, you will see the B1500 sum package will be downloaded first to System Manager, but then transferred to an external file repository that supports HTTP access. In fact, you cannot schedule an upgrade job unless the software library is configured to make use of HTTP. So we're at the landing page of System Manager 6.2, and I'm going to head to Inventory in the Inventory Element subpages. Now from there, I'm heading to Upgrade Management. Now it's under Upgrade Management that will target our Download Manager for this system. Now for B1500 use, you'll see we'll have a local System Manager repository and an external repository, and we have two different files to manage. Now how it knows how to get these files to begin with the File Download Manager is due to the Collected Inventory. Under the Collected Inventory, and I'll head to that now, you'll see that System Manager has pulled all the Manage Elements to, to collect all the software versions. So it's by comparing this Collected Inventory to the versions under bar sp.xml file on the support site that gives Download Manager the information of what is available for download from PLDS in this case to the various repositories. So here you see me expanding the B1500 branch gateway and we have the full sum upgrade package and you see it's 460 meg and it's not downloaded yet. And now I'll expand the B1500 Manager. This is the admin light package which is much much smaller in size it's 70 meg and again you see there that the previous download failed for some reason as our status so again we have two repositories we have the local and we have the b1500 so we're going to start with the admin light package and we're going to only make use of the local repository and the protocol of choice we have is here file transfer protocol sftp so i'm going to select b1500 manager and then under there select the actual executable file that we want to download from PLDS. Now we have an option to schedule this but I'm going to go ahead and hit the download button to download this and begin this operation immediately. So we're met with an end user licensing agreement which I'll hit accept to because I want to get this operation well underway. And so now we see that the download is in progress. and it's targeting the local system manager repository and if we go up to the status we see that it was scheduled successfully so I'll close out of that status so again what's occurring is system manager is downloading this file from PLDS and storing it in its local repository and you see our download progress right now is 42 percent and I'll speed up the video because we don't need to sit around waiting for that to occur in real time so as you see now I'm logging into the shell access using putty logging directly into the system manager and I'm heading to ABG home tools and you see if I do an LS minus LN you see that we have the B5800 admin light has been fully downloaded and it's automatically made now and updated this is a new feature a soft link so it has soft linked the manager sfx.exe with the actual physical location of the downloaded B1500 admin light file that we're just currently downloaded. So now I'm back on System Manager and it's time to check on the download. So I'll select it and hit the refresh key or refresh link I should say and the download is complete 100% as we suspected after seeing that on the shell side that it was downloaded and the soft link had been created. So now it's time to download the B1500 firmware software update module 
or software update package from PLDS. So much the same process. I'm going to select it and again you see it's 460 meg but a key difference here. I'm now going to choose the B1500 repository that we set up which is an external offboard server that supports not only the secure file transfer protocol to move the files downloaded from system manager. You'll see it's a two part process and I've hit download to begin the download and then once again I'll accept the end user licensing agreement and this offboard server also supports HTTP access for the actual B1500 up upgrades when we're time to do that. You'll see that we have a scheduling server service update once again and now you see that the download is in progress to again first download this software package to the system manager cache and then from the system manager cache it will then move it to this external repository and as you see here I'm speeding up the video and you see I'm at 64 and then 99 percent complete so if I I'm at 99 percent complete you're gonna see a, a change here if I hit refresh one more time now you're gonna see upload in progress so like I mentioned it's a two-step process first it downloads from PLDS now it's uploading this software update module to the software repository to the offboard external server that's staged as a software repository for the B1500 upgrades and again it'll take some time so I'll speed up the video now I'm actually shelling into the external repository again this can be a Windows box or a Linux box it's a Linux box in my case and you see I'm going to continue to transverse deeper into the file system into the folder structure of the software upgrade module now if you're used to IP office update packages or in this case B1500 um, you'll soon recognize the files so if I continue in and then we'll finally get to primary you see that this is where all the files are stored so again it's a collection of files that's being that was downloaded as a zip package and now being uploaded as the collection of files with the proper file structure for the upgrade process to occur and you see I'm just listing out the files so again it's two stage process and what will happen is and there's the full path at the bottom that I've now given you and again the two stage process is downloading to the system manager cache and then uploading using SFTP to the external file repository and then what will happen is during upgrade process the system manager will redirect the upgrade request to that external repository using HTTP or HTTPS based on configuration of the external software library and you see how the upload is progressing we're all, all the way up to 55 percent so here we are 88 percent I'm going to refresh and this last refresh you see downloads complete 100 percent so the file was downloaded and then moved via, via SFTP to the external file repository so this completes the demonstration of using file download manager to prep the system manager and the external repository with the proper files for B1500 upgrades Thank you for your time today. We welcome comments, questions, and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at Avaya Mentor. For more details or related information, please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing Avaya.